Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, reports that Russian forces may have used chemical agents in an attack on the people of Mariupol. We are working urgently with partners to verify details. Any use of such weapons would be a callous escalation in this conflict and we will hold Putin and his government to account. Railway destroyed in Shebekino district of Belgorod region, more details later, regional governor. Two missile attacks overnight in Dnepropetrovsk region, one hit old farm in Sanelnikov district, one missile was shot down. Governor Heyday, Russian forces shell Luhansk Oblast overnight on April 12. Luhansk Oblast Governor Serhii Heyday reported that Russian forces attacked Severodonetsk, Lysyhansk, Kremina, Novodruzhesk, Rubizhna. Russian Ministry of Defense says it has destroyed Bayraktar TB-2 drone with naval air defense system near Crimea. MLRS grad shelling from Nova Kahovka and Kherson this morning. Missile launch from Nova Kahovka. Russian missile strike reported in Kamelnitsky region overnight. 6,252 UXOs were found and neutralized by civil defense rescuers in last 24 hours. Russian Ministry of Defense in the morning briefing reports multiple aerial strikes on Mariupol. The head of the NATO military committee, the result of the war on Ukraine is the strengthening of the alliance's presence on the borders of Russia. Russian Aviation Agency, extension of restrictions on air traffic and the closure of airports in southern and southwestern Russia until April 19. Russian airplane was shot down on the border between Dnepropetrovsk and Donetsk regions today. Head of the NATO military committee, the alliance will not provide Ukraine with soldiers or aircraft in its war with Russia. Head of NATO military committee, Ukraine urgently needs non-military assistance as well. Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, information on chemicals used in Mariupol last night is still being investigated, preliminary data show it could be phosphorus ammunition. Railway bridge was damaged in Shebekino district of Belgorod region. Russian investigative committee opened investigation. Almost two-thirds of Ukrainian children have fled their homes, the UN says. About 4.8 million out of 7.5 million children had to leave their homes, said Manuel Fontaine from UNICEF. He confirmed the deaths of 142 children, but added that the number is almost certainly higher. 64-year-old man was killed, vehicle destroyed as result of landmine explosion in Chernihiv region. Authorities in Belgorod region call volunteers to join militia to help police in nighttime. Bodies of six civilians killed by Russian army were found in the basement in village of Shevchenkov, Brovary district, Kiev region. Explosions audible in Kharkiv. Frontline pushed from the administrative border of Dnepropetrovsk region deep into Kherson region, head of Krivi re-administration Vilkul. Four killed, including 13-year-old boy as result of Russian attack on civilian vehicles near Paramoha village in the beginning of March, Office of General Prosecutor. Putin after meeting with Lukashenko, war in Ukraine is going according to initial plan of General Staff of Armed Forces of Russia. Putin says Ukraine talks are in dead end.
U.S. has delivered a significant amount of the first 100 switchblade drones to Ukrainian troops and the kamikaze drones are being used in the field, senior U.S. defense official. U.S. is working hard to expedite the supplies of more of the drones that detonate over targets. U.S. has examined the possibility that Russia could disguise a chemical attack by mixing in riot control agents, senior U.S. defense official. U.S. not clear whether that occurred in Ukraine's besieged city of Mariupol, where the Azov regiment said Russia used chemical agents. TechCrunch, Ukraine disrupts attempt by Russian hackers to take down energy provider. Reuters, Croatia has told 24 Russian embassy staff to leave over Russia's invasion of Ukraine and brutal aggression. Steinmeier not looking happy having received news of Ukraine blocking trip, says he wanted to send strong signal of EU solidarity alongside presidents of Baltics and Poland. I was ready but apparently, and I need to take note, this was not desired in Kyiv. Dass wir beide gemeinsam mit den Präsidenten Estlands, Lettlands und Litauen eine Reise nach Kiew unternehmen, um dort ein starkes Zeichen gemeinsamer europäischer Solidarität mit der Ukraine zu senden und zu setzen. Ich war dazu bereit, aber offenbar, und ich muss zur Kenntnis nehmen, war das in Kiew nicht gewünscht. Two thousand three hundred forty three people were evacuated to safe areas today from Mariupol, Berdyansk, and other cities of Zaporizhia region. Three hundred twenty eight were evacuated from Lysyhansk, Severodonetsk, Rubizhna, Kremina, and Papasna of Luhansk region. Boris Johnson, I've just spoken to at POTUS and updated him on my meeting with President at Zelensky UA in Kyiv this weekend. Our joint focus remains on supporting President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people in their fight for freedom. Putin's barbaric venture cannot be allowed to succeed. Putin's barbaric venture cannot be allowed to succeed. Putin's barbaric venture cannot be allowed to succeed. Mayor of Buka, as of today bodies of 403 people, killed during Russian occupation, were found. Clashes reported in Borova direction. Head of Donetsk Regional Administration, up to 22,000 people were killed in Mariupol, at least 33,500 were brought to Russia or occupied territories. At least 33,500 were brought to Russia or occupied territories. At least 33,500 were brought to Russia or occupied territories. Ukrainian border guards increased security on border with so-called Transnistria and Belarus. Security Service of Ukraine has captured pro-Russian politician Viktor Medvedchuk. Russian army launched missile strike at infrastructure in Meyerhorod. One killed, two wounded as result of Russian army shelling on Babai village in Kharkiv region. Heavy explosions again in Kharkiv. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration is expected to announce as soon as Wednesday another $750 million in military assistance for Ukraine for its fight against Russian forces, two U.S. officials familiar with the matter told Reuters. A top U.S. defense official said on Tuesday that the Pentagon would convene a classified meeting with the leaders of the biggest American military contractors on Wednesday to discuss stepped-up assistance to Ukraine. YouTube is currently experiencing partial outages in multiple countries, incident not related to country-level internet disruptions are filtering.
the OSCE will publish the findings of its investigation into human rights abuses and atrocities committed in the ongoing Russian war in Ukraine tomorrow, per Spox for the U.S. mission. President Biden labels Putin's invasion of Ukraine a genocide, for the first time, your family budget, your ability to fill up your tank, none of it should hinge on whether a dictator declares war and commits genocide a half a world away. Your family budget, your ability to fill up your tank, none of it should hinge on whether a dictator declares war and commits genocide a half a world away. To help deal with this Putin price hike, I've authorized the release of one million barrels per day for the next six months from our strategic petroleum reserve. This is by far the largest release of our national reserve in history. It's a wartime bridge to increase oil supply as we work to, with U.S. Producer, oil producers to ramp up their production this year. Reports of explosions in Jaitomir region.